Imagine a place where you need a tutorial just across the road, or be love scammed by a beautiful female and smoke tobacco from a bamboo pipe the size of your arms. This is the dark side of Vietnam. Between the 2nd and 19th centuries, the country was ruled by four dynasties, Li, Zhong, Lei, and Nuan. The Lei, Zhong, and Li dynasties were the ones who repelled Mongol attacks and Chinese occupations to keep the country intact and unify the land. Then the Nuan expanded the territory. It was not until the mid to late 19th century that the French came to colonize the country. Many Vietnamese fought to seek independence and were imprisoned for their cause. Then the Japanese took control of the territory in 1940 until the country declared itself an independent nation in 1945 after World War II. But this is not the end of Vietnam's struggle for their independence. France wanted to regain control of the country, leading to the Indochina War in 1946 where Vietnam won. Then the Americans got involved in the Second Indochina War between the South and the Communist-backed North Vietnam from 1955 to 1975. The country finally unified again in 1975 under the Socialist Republic of Vietnam after the North won, and the American troops left Vietnam. The country is now ruled under a socialist-oriented government and continues to prosper. But there's one scar that's still left after the war, Agent Orange. Agent Orange is a chemical sprayed during combat by the American troops between 1961 to 1971. And this chemical is still leaving impacts on millions of people in Vietnam. The US program sprayed 80 million liters of herbicides in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos, according to reports from the Vietnam Association. The main reason is to kill their enemy's food source. The deadly chemical dioxin was found to be one of the most toxic chemicals known and can lead to serious diseases. The chemical still contaminates Vietnam's soils and rivers, making their plants and fish toxic. Almost 4.8 million Vietnamese have been exposed to this chemical, causing almost 1 million cases of different diseases like birth defects, skin disorders, autoimmune disease, liver disorders, psychosocial effects, neurological defects, and gastrointestinal defects. What's sadder is that 192,000 of these people are children. Due to this, the U.S. government donated millions to clean up the effects. But many scientists have claimed that many generations in the future can still be affected by it. An Agent Orange specialist concluded that it will take about 6 to 12 generations for dioxins to subside. One good news in Vietnam is the success story of its economic development. After its economic reformation in 1986, Vietnam shifted from one of the world's poorest nations into a middle-income economy. In the last two decades, their GDP grew by 3.6 times and poverty rates declined by more than 10 percent. Their GDP in 2022 is US $413.81 billion and their GDP per capita is U.S. 4,163.5. At the end of 2023, both figures are expected to grow to 449.09 billion and U.S. 4,475. Their income inequality is also decreasing throughout the decades, meaning that more people are now getting out of poverty and entering the middle-class income. This is especially true in the urban area, where the rich-poor income divide decreased by 7.6 times in 2026 to only 5.3 times in 2020. Nevertheless, 4.4% of the population is still living under the poverty line in Vietnam, which is about 4.3 million. These people are still living in shanty houses as small as 3 square meters, earning barely enough to make ends meet. This is probably why scams and robberies are still rampant in certain areas, such as love scams. As most travelers know, Vietnam's nightlife is popular among tourists. And one of the most well-known nightlife destinations is Saigon, or Ho Chi Minh City. But if you think you're going to meet the love of your life during these outings, think again. 
There are plenty of cases of dating scams in Vietnam. A popular method is the bar girl scam. Beautiful girls who work for the club will approach you, will ask you for an expensive drink, and then tell you a tragic life story. That way, they can earn your sympathy and use you for your money. Most of the time, it turns out the girl works for the club and gets a commission. The worst case scenario is they'll borrow your money and never see you again. Then, there's the travel scam. They will first contact you via social media or dating websites and ask you to visit them. They'll volunteer to make travel arrangements for you and ask you to pay for it. After the money is received, you'll never hear from her again. There's also the sugar daddy scheme. In this case, she will ask you to cover all her living expenses in exchange for her company and sexual pleasures. Most of the time, they have multiple victims to make an even bigger income. One such case cost a man $139,000. A 54-year-old Vietnamese man who lived in the U.S. met a 39-year-old who lived in Ho Chi Minh City via an online dating site. He wanted the woman to visit him in the U.S., but the woman asked him to provide $139,000 for visa purposes. After the man sent the money, the woman disappeared. Another alarming thing is pickpocketing. Although the crime rate is low in Vietnam, theft is the most common crime, especially after sundown, as most of the roads are not well lit and can be a breeding ground for petty thieves. These thieves are also present in crowded areas. As you'll be distracted by many things, most of them are working in groups or gangs, so they won't be caught. They can be anyone, men, women, even children. Some use children to distract you by asking you to buy something for them. Then, when you take out your wallet, someone will snatch it from your hand. These incidents happen mostly in areas with younger tourists, such as Ho Chi Minh City, Hanau, and Nha Trang. This is also why travelers need to be extra careful when choosing their accommodations. Often, you'll find that the place is not as welcoming as it looks on the website and you have to go through dark alleys to reach your hotel or Airbnb. This can be very dangerous for tourists, especially women. Aside from the pickpocketing gangs, one condition that Vietnam can't seem to get rid of is its chaotic traffic. Tourists even ranked it one of the most dangerous places to drive in. It even made some expats unwilling to travel to the country. The traffic in their country is so horrible that 30 people die every day from transportation-related injuries. These cases mostly happen due to ignorance, as most drivers think of traffic rules as merely guidelines and not laws. There's even a rule for pedestrians when it comes to crossing the road in Vietnam. Don't stop. Because the traffic is so congested, you can never reach the other side of the road if you wait for drivers to stop. People usually step into the road without looking and then walk straight to the other side without stopping. You'll see the motorcycles magically going around the pedestrian even without touching the brake. Another interesting fact about Vietnam is a smoking pipe called Tho Lao. If you go to North Vietnam and visit a tea shop, you'll find people smoking tobacco from a very large bamboo pipe. This unique device is a traditional Vietnamese water pipe, and it is very popular among young and old. Many have quit cigarettes and moved on to the Thot Lao because they thought it less harmful. In fact, it has more nicotine content and is more addictive compared to cigarettes. The nicotine is so dangerously high that people who are not used to the Thot Lao often pass out after their first hit, so be extra careful. One crime that is on the rise in Vietnam is human trafficking. The country was even dubbed as a trafficking hub for its region. Most of the victims were trafficked to foreign countries, but police claim that trafficking cases within Vietnam are also on the rise. From 2018 to 2022, there were around 440 cases of human trafficking, ranging from sexual exploitation, labor exploitation, and even human organ trade. One particular ploy the traffickers use is promising an easy job with high incomes doing illegal work in a foreign country to the victims. If they want to return, they need to pay a high fee. Another ploy is by promising to marry them off or giving them up for adoption. After the victim is out of Vietnam, they'll seize all the victim's papers and force them to work illegally. 
Vietnamese authorities have been working hard to eliminate this issue and rescued more than 800 victims so far since 2018. Most victims have said that unemployment was the real issue and what drove them to say yes. Vietnam is a vibrant country with rich history and culture. Despite its issues, the country managed to make significant progress over the years. With its resilience, hopefully Vietnam will become better in the future and overcome its dark sides.